With spring finally thawing out New England, we at Cap Inc. wanted to celebrate with a tasty 3D printing mold project. As some of you might have heard, we are now offering MakerBots. We have been longtime fans of the MakerBot Thingiverse, where you can share and download STL 3D printing files. Today, I'm going to show you how we edited, then printed, a chocolate bunny mold from Thingiverse with our Object 30 Pro. Downloading files from Thingiverse is simple, but making sure the file is able to print can mean editing. To start, we downloaded the chocolate bunny mold and inserted into Object Studio. Then we ran validate on the part to see if it would print. In this case, it wouldn't. As you can see, the error pops up and the model turns orange as a warning. There's a quick fix for this, and it's called NetFab. Here you can see the mold in NetFab Basic, which is a free program that helps diagnose and solve simple design issues. With the file opened in NetFab, we selected extras and then repair part. The report in the lower right corner indicates two openings, making this not a closed model. This is usually due to either poor modeling techniques or poor export. To fix this, we selected Automatic Repair, then Default Repair, and Execute. After that, we right-clicked on Part Repair line in the upper right and selected Apply Part Repair. The next box that popped up asked if we wanted to remove the old part. We selected Yes. The part reverted to green and was repaired inside NetFab. Next, we selected Part, then Export Part, then clicked STL. Be sure not to select STL ASCII. Once the file is saved, we reopened it in Object Studio and rechecked the validation. You can see both the old and new files in this validation. The part in white is the repaired bunny mold, and the orange is the old, unedited mold. The white mold is now ready to print. We chose to print our molds in the Object 30 Pro using VeroClear material allowing us to see the chocolate inside the mold to reduce air pockets. We set the molds to print overnight so they would be completed in the morning. Once finished, we scraped the molds out of the printer and started the quick cleanup process, removing the small amount of support material on them. With our chocolate bunny molds printed, now the only thing to do is make some tasty bunnies. On this particular file in Thingiverse, the creator shared a great link to Martha Stewart's chocolate tempering instructions. Let's see if we can make Martha proud. This is just a small example of how 3D printing can help create molds. Injection molds are expensive and are typically machined making them costly and time consuming. As you saw today, 3D printing a prototype mold is not only cheaper, but faster. And in this case, tasty. 